All right, so when you're doing the coil over install, you just want to rip out the carpet, and you can see mine's already taken out. Um, you, what I'm gonna do a few days ahead for about four days, just spray these like the top hat bolts. There's another one. There's another one in here, so I'm gonna have to take this off with the 10 millimeter uh, ratchet. And you're just gonna want to spray these real good. And, and then I'm going to go to this side here. Alright, so right now he's taking off the remainder of the bolts. Once you take that off, then you have access to the other top hat so you can spray it down with some PB Blaster. And this bad boy just comes straight off. Now you can see back there's the top hat. Back here, yeah. So right now he's going to spray it, get it loosened up for when he gets his coilovers. So you just want to spray these down. It's like three bolts. It's the end link here. This bottom one, the inside one of your shock. Gonna want to work those free. This is the driver's side right now. Just spraying those bolts, getting them loosened up. Coil should be here in a couple days, so all these bolts will be broken free, and we'll be ready to just slap them on. All right, now I took this panel off. Pretty beat up and scratched and dirty. I'm probably just gonna clean it up real quick with the damp towel and just re spray paint it black. So you're just going to take out these two bolts here and you're going to use a 14 millimeter ratchet. And these are already broken free pretty good because I uh, sprayed them with that PB blaster for four days. a little bit trickier because of the gas lines here. All right, so I switched to the 916s uh, deep. The other one it wasn't working on this side. So. This is a tighter squeeze, guys. All right, so I actually ran into a problem on this guy. This bolt right here is like seized up, so we'll probably have to do some cutting in here. Um, but I was able to take out the other bolts, uh, as you can see right there. And I took this guy off too, just for extra slack on there. But this thing is uh, completely stuck on, so we tried everything to get it off and We'll probably just gonna have to do some cutting, so we'll be back on that. So we ended up having to, we had to chop it all up. It's still pretty hot, so I'm not going to touch it with my bare hands. But now we just got to take off the top hats on there. Shout out to Robert from the Auto Gang Garage. He's the one that had the cutter and he chopped it up for me. Now we're just going to take off these top hats and 
throw in the coil over. All right, and then all we did was we took the 17 millimeter uh, socket and just uh, we took the impact and just put that on there. It's easier to do with two people, but you just got to you just got to put a little bit of work on there. It was easy. Yeah, not too bad. All right, so we got these things put in. Um, all you need to do just basically put it back the way. The way you took it out, put all the same bolts back, like the end link there. Uh, this guy, you just put it through. What you want to do is uh, jack up this uh, control arm here. So you just take a jack under there and lift it up from here. And that lines this up. And there's a hole down here, you just line that up, put the pin through. And then you go to the top, and then you just take the 916. And you just take the 916 and tighten it up there. It's Pretty self-explanatory. Now this thing's sitting pretty low. Now we just gotta do the front. This thing is dumped. I like it so far. Looks way better. So basically we just flip the car around in the garage, put it on jack stands, and uh, I already started working on this side here. Uh, that guy wouldn't come out all the way, so I just kind of left it there. But it's out of the thing, but it's hard to take off because of this. But we also have this guy pulled out. That's for the shock. That's what's holding it in. And... Now I'm just working on these up here. Just taking off the other top hat bolts. It's the same as the back. These are 916. So they're coming out pretty easy, so we'll be right on it. Pretty easy. So this is the final walk around here. It's kind of dark, guys. Super low. I'll probably put some different wheels on here too, eventually. This thing count pretty sweet. Just a fun project for the day. Now I have to buy this Bendejo food because he helped me fix the car. So we're gonna go in here. Got a gun? There it is, guys. All right. <laughs>